Hello and welcome to my first look at the Lian Sheng LS111 Nano Quadcopter. Okay, let's have a look out the box. It comes in, oops, a just a plain white box, like so. And inside we have this rather neat little um, <coughs> plastic container. You can see it's clearly supposed to say Q4. They've just changed it enough so that you can call it <coughs> a Lian Sheng. LS111, but it's basically <coughs> a copy of the Hubsan Q4, and it is an incredible nano sixth RC quadcopter, whatever that means. Okay, let's have a look inside. <coughs> Take the top bit off first. Inside, you get a small instruction leaflet. Helicopter in the house. It covers a few different controllers because these quadcopters can be synced up with different transmitters. This is the one that comes with it. I get a few bits of information about how to switch it on, how to pair it, how to charge it, what the various controls are. Usual mode two controls, left stick up, forward and backwards is go up and down, turn left and right to rotate and right stick is forward, back, and then like straight, sideways, left and right. And then just sort of overview of all the parts that were included. And that's the end of that. And you get a little USB charging cable, just plugs directly into the quadcopter. You get a little pack of replacement blades. There's only three in there because, as you may notice from the odd way that that is, I've had to use one already. Now, they're supposed to be, there are A and B blades for, you have to have different ring ones to make sure otherwise the quadcopter won't be stable. They're angled differently. And for some reason I got three A's and one B as opposed to two of each. So that's why I've got an odd colour scheme because that was the only B one that I had to use to replace that when I should have had a an A and a B of each colour. I've got two A's in red. And this is the tiny little controller. Looks and feels very, very cheap, but actually when using it, it seems to work okay. Uh, it takes two AAA batteries in the back. Whoops. Let's grab that. Which I've taken out because I'm not currently using it because it's broken. So same as before, switch it on and then it's up and down to sort of calibrate it to the quadcopter. You have forward, back, left and right trim buttons and then it's you know, ascend and descend, turn left and right, forward, back and then strafe left and right. Um, it's a bit, it's small, I haven't got big hands but it's very small for me so if you've got big hands this would not be very suitable. <coughs> this is why the quadcopter is able to connect with other controllers, like it says in the instructions. So let's have a look at the little thing itself. It sort of slides into this little base. And here it is, it's a very neat little thing. Uh, it's just basically, um, there's no, there's no uh, body work really or anything. This is literally a printed circuit board that's been cut out with motors attached, a battery in the middle, and then a small plastic shell that's gone over the th over the battery and the main circuit board to you know give it some sort of decent looking appearance. Um, now this does definitely feel cheap compared to the Hubson Q4. I bought one of those recently for my nephew uh, for Christmas, and the first thing I noticed with this one is that there's a, a lot of wobble in see that that one's fine that wobbles that wobbles that wobbles the one I gave to my nephew 
none of them wobbled. It felt very secure in hand, and I'm pretty sure that the cutouts on this printed circuit board on this one are thinner, um, which will go some way to explaining why mine is broken. Um, there, yeah, the battery is built in there. There is a switch on the bottom to switch it on and off. So you can see there. And when you do that, the lights come on. Now you'll notice that the lights only come on on one side. You have blue lights at the front, should be two, but there's not, and you have blue at the front and red at the back. Uh, the reason that they're not showing on the left side, sorry, on the right side, is because of this. Mine came apart there. Occasionally you can get the other side to flash, but I did, I did uh, repair it. I put, put it back together so that there was a circuit and super glued it and held it in place. And that did work for a small period of time, but as soon as there was a land, you know, as soon as it landed, not perfectly, I don't mean even crash, as soon as it landed and sort of went like that, it's moved up and the circuit was broken. And I think what happened was the super glue sort of got in the way of the contacts now, so it doesn't work. So it's either going to be buying another one or seeing if I can get a spare circuit board anyway. I'm, you can get spares for these very easily everywhere. I don't think I'd recommend this as a first quadcopter because it's just that little bit too fragile. Um, I would personally spend a little bit more money on something that's a little bit bigger. Um, you can get some nano ones which are around this size, which aren't just thin circuit board, they are like plastic bodied. Um, and I would probably recommend getting one of those over one of these. It would probably be slower and a bit not as agile because it will be similar blades and motors but a little bit heavier. But it will probably be more durable and won't break so easily. This literally broke within a day of me being careful and trying to fly it as carefully as possible. Um, but, you know, I am a complete novice with these. So you can get prop guards for these, uh, it doesn't come with one, it's, just, it's almost like this is a reject from the Hubson Q4 lot and they've gone right we'll just rebrand that one badly on the box and just sell it to something else for a couple of quid less. Um, I will get another nano quad, it won't be one like this design, it'll be a, one of the thicker plastic ones and uh, I'll give my impressions on that. I have a JJRC H6C with camera which I've been flying around a bit and uh, I will be doing a review on that. Okay, well, that concludes my first impressions of the, I can't remember what it's called, the Lian Sheng LS111. Okay. Thanks for watching.